Item Piles is a Foundry VTT module that allows you to represent items on your scenes. Foundry doesn't support putting items on scenes, so Item Pile gets around this by representing piles of items as tokens. GMs and users can drag and drop items from their characters onto scenes to create piles of items. If their token is within an arm's reach of an item pile, they can double click on the item pile to open the interface and take items and currencies from them. You can change the range and all other features in the item piles' as configuration UI. As a GM, you can create characters in the sidebar and pre-configure them to be item piles. Among normal item piles, you can turn them into containers, merchants, or vaults. Containers work just like normal item piles, but they can change image depending whether they are closed, open, empty, or locked. You can right-click a container token to quickly set the state of it. Merchants are a bit more involved, but you can drag and drop items into its UI to put them up for sale. You can also quickly hide items and make players unable to purchase them. In its configuration UI, you can also set a number of useful settings, such as per item type price discount or inflate the price of precious goods for individual characters. Vaults act like Diablo-style sashes or World of Warcraft banks. These are a bit more video gamey, but in some games they might be fun to introduce, and they are entirely optional. In addition, Players can drag and drop items onto other player tokens next to their token to give them an item, assuming the target accepts their gift. This is a quick way to allow players to exchange items among themselves. Last but not least, there is a full-fledged trading system. In the bottom left of your screen, you can request trading with other players, which allows you to trade anything and everything that you own. In short, the Item Piles module is not just piles. It is a module that contains many systems you may like. And as of this video's release, it natively supports 30 systems. Whew. Well, there is a lot more to uncover, so do let me know in the comments below if there is anything else you'd like me to explain a bit more. The scene tokens and chest images are from Forgotten Adventures. They are not affiliated with Fantasy Computer Works, but a link to their website can be found in the video's description, along with links to Fantasy Computer Works' creations. Thanks for watching. Cheers.